Ever wondered what happens when Karens push the limits and find themselves on the wrong side of the law? Here are five cases when psycho Karens get arrested. Number five, mother of the year on her second DUI. Pulled over for a traffic violation, a woman finds herself in a roadside conversation with a police officer. Her vehicle was creeping along at a snail's pace, a red flag that something might not be right. The conversation between the officer and the woman starts like this. I literally, like, I, I have my kids, like, I literally, like, I, I'm cautious of all this. So. Okay, yeah, I see. I mean, your kids aren't. The officer asks where she's headed. So where, what's the plan now? Where, where are you going? I'm going home. You're going home? And I literally, yeah, uh, I just pick up some food. But of course, he knows something's off about the situation. Okay, because we need, we need to figure out why, you know what I mean? There's no, there's no, no way that you were driving that slow and everything is over. The woman struggles to explain. Yeah, I literally, like, I, I'm just like, literally. What literally are you looking what? for? What are you looking for? Nothing. Literally what? Uh, literally, like, I'm just. Like, literally? That literally did not make any sense. Where are your kids? Uh, at home. Who are your kids with? My son. My brother. Your brother? Yeah. Her responses only confirm suspicions that she's not sober. Are you, are you in cop? Yep. Okay. All right. Yes, I am. So, listen. You can't, I'll can't let you drive away. I need you to step out of the vehicle for a minute. Here we go. Time for field sobriety tests. Oh, please. Okay. okay. See the tip of my pen? Only, only with your... Okay. Only with your eyes. eyes. Okay, ready? The instructions seem straightforward, but even the simplest of tasks proves to be challenging for the woman. Your eyes. All right, you gotta follow the tip of my pen, okay? Okay. You see it? Ready? Very simple. It becomes increasingly apparent that something isn't quite right. Keep your head level, just look up with your eyes. So open them up nice and wide, just follow my pen. Don't move your head. Despite clear instructions and multiple opportunities, she struggles to perform. A few seconds, all right? Follow my pen. You okay? You're not, you're not seeming to really understand instructions. You're making me think maybe you took too much of your clock. Thankfully, the officer maintains patience and offers her one more chance. Okay. Fine. No, you're not doing it right, okay? Okay. okay. Follow the tip of my pen. You're moving your head again. Remember what I said, don't okay. remove your head. Unfortunately, things still aren't looking promising for the woman. Follow it all the way out. The test escalates to a physical challenge. Okay, so nine, one, two, three. Okay, come on back. The woman's attempt is marred by confusion. Okay. All right, so you did the test wrong. You went backwards. Okay. So you're you do you understand the test? Yeah, like it was like supposed to go back. A mix up of directions that turns the simple into the complex. Forwards. Forwards, okay. Sides, right foot in front of your left. Yep. And you're going to take nine steps forward, heel to toe. Okay. Let's see if she does better this time, shall we? All right, I'll demonstrate one more time for you, okay? No, you don't have to. Yeah. So, okay. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. You be the judge. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Unfortunately, this is how the woman's story ends. It's not exactly a surprise, is it? She ended up getting arrested for driving under the influence, and her car got stuck in impound for a solid 12 hours. Shockingly, this was her second DUI within the span of a month, Number four, woman claims to be an undercover detective, gets arrested. It all begins when officers approach a woman parked in a questionable spot and ask her to step out. She hesitates, sparking the beginning of a series of interactions that escalate quickly. The officer's demands are clear. Get out of the car! 
Lower all the windows down! But the woman, perhaps caught off guard or misunderstanding the gravity of the situation, doesn't immediately comply. Okay, okay, put your... Okay. Okay. Instead, she engages in a back and forth with the officers. Put your hands outside the vehicle. Put your hands outside the vehicle. Put your hands outside the vehicle. Okay, okay. Questioning their intentions and the reason behind the stop. Man, I need you to pull it Okay, man. I haven't seen y'all in that Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Okay, let me see your hands. This interaction sets the tone for what becomes a prolonged and increasingly tense engagement. You step out of the vehicle. Put your hands up. Hands up. Hands up. Okay. All right. Hands up. All right. Put your hands up. As the officers persist with their instructions. Hands up. You already put your pants up. All right. Can you please? Put your keys on top of your car. Listen up. Put your keys on top. The woman's reluctance to comply becomes more evident. Put your keys on top of your car right now. We'll tell you a reason as soon as you step out of the car. Listen to me. Put your keys on top of your... The woman, now agitated, continues to question the officers. The vehicle. Step out the vehicle. What is the reason for y'all stopping? Trying to grasp the reason behind their presence and her impending detainment. Go right now. Step out of the vehicle. Okay, so I'm out my vehicle. Okay. Face away from me. What is the reason y'all arresting me? Face that way. Face that way. The officers, maintaining their professionalism, attempt to de-escalate the situation. Put your hands up for me, okay? No, this is different direction. Ma'am. Hey, Ma'am. Hey, hey. Shut up! However, their attempts seem to fall on deaf ears. What is the reason why y'all doing this? I'm laying in my there car. There is a traffic stop. They were trying to conduct a traffic stop and you were not listening to me. A traffic stop when I'm Put parked there the whole time. The woman's defiance takes center stage. Put your hands off. I'm, I'm parked there the whole time. Leading to a standoff that seems to defy reason. The woman asserts that she's been doing undercover detective work. What is your problem? Stop resisting. Huh? Relax. What is your problem? There's no problem. Relax. Relax. I've been sitting there doing an undercover investigation of a bunch of people who have been trying to kill me. Suggesting that her actions are part of a larger, more complex narrative. I've been in Hollandale. I have not had nobody arrest my hip. Okay? I just got something expunged from a prior detective work, and y'all are still doing shit to me. What do you think? Was she merely channeling her inner Sherlock Holmes? Or could there be more to the story? Who are y'all a part of, Orlando? The other people who've been working with the bad cops on the other side? Huh? Since I've been working with Pete London? And other the woman persists in being difficult. What's your name? What do you mean, what's my name? My name is Sh Anything. Yes. You heard me from the other side to pay attention to what I was saying. I don't listen to me. When I see people I told you, you already put your displaying rudeness toward the officers. This, this is listen. a joke. This is not a joke. This is not a joke. It's relaxed. Okay, well, these cuffs are too tight. All right. As so if the cuffs are too tight, you have to loosen them. Are you going to complain? Are you gonna... She demands answers, still confused about her predicament. I'm, I'm being serious. I'm laying okay. down and I'm asleep. So well, tell me what is happening. Right? Yeah. No citations. Let's go. Let's go. What is going on? Meanwhile, the officers stay composed as they communicate with her. Listen to me. Are you going to listen to me? Yeah, I'm listening All now. Right, listen. I'm going to stand you up. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to adjust the cough. I'm going to adjust the cough. Thank I'm going to take you. out your boot bag. All right? Amidst the conversation, the woman continues to fuel her delusion, claiming she's one of them. Do I am a right. detective I, I understand. Also, and I'm a narky. You know right, who I am? Good. If you do something, listen it. up. That's me. Are you listening the to what I'm saying? I'm gonna leave the boat back. Despite her resistance, the officers show her kindness. Let's get, a, let's get you up. Let's go. Let's get you up. Come over here. That's what it's about. He's gonna adjust the cops. Just hold it. Yes. Yes. The suspect, however, begins to threaten the cops. When I'm done with all of this, I want I want the badge for everyone on this case. Yes, ma'am. Because I'm taking this against the federal court. Correct. 
and I'm serious. Her concern for her personal belongings, particularly her car and the items within, become the focal point of her grievances. Do you see me re resisting anything? Because I want to get not, in my car right and now. get out of here. I'm right tired now. of y'all taking all of my, my possessions. Right okay? I'm she continues to ramble incessantly. It's my book sack. That goes with me wherever I go. So if y'all decide that y'all want to take me to jail to eat for free, then it's going with me. I'm going to take it with you. All right. Understand? The police proceed to the next steps before placing her in the patrol car. Do you have anything that's going to prick me or poke oh. me or anything like that? Any weapons? I, I have. Um, on I, you, on you, on you. No. Okay, I have to just pat you down real quick, okay? Despite her protests and claims of innocence, the woman is led away. You good to go in there? Yeah. Come, let's walk over here. Where am I going? To this patrol car. I need my book sack. You're going to yeah, get it. Come with me. Still voicing her concerns and dissatisfaction. Why are y'all arresting me? Thank you. Can you get my book back? Finally, she's placed in the patrol car. I'm requesting my book sack. All right, you're going to get it. Come on. Go inside. Thank you. Appreciate it. Somebody shut that shut door. That. Oh, no. In the station, the woman keeps expressing her concerns. My car going because I was Unexpected. told that my car can be parked here and I was supposed to go over to that next location. Is this a shakedown because y'all not getting paid? With these new Circling back to the topic of her belongings. My car better not be going to an impound because that is fully that is a fully paid off vehicle with all my personal belongings. And it's a federal offense to take my personal belongings. As the officers move forward with the arrest, her protests become more vocal. So you can stay, you, you, you guys can stay playing tough with these handcuffs. I'm sick of it. You can double check. It doesn't hurt. No, it's the truth. If she argues that her rights are being violated and she's being unfairly singled out. I can be treated with some more respect. So all of my stuff better come this way. And then, just like that, her fate is sealed. Walk forward. Walk. Unfortunately, our undercover detective faced charges of resisting arrest and fleeing and eluding. Perhaps next time she'll reveal the golden rule of undercover work. Never reveal that you're undercover. Number three, woman calls 911 and plays victim. A woman entangled in a dispute that has escalated beyond words claims she's the victim of a near miss by a van. The pedestrians nearby, however, tell a different tale. They suggest that the woman, far from being an innocent bystander, actually initiated the conflict by hitting the van herself. The woman passionately tells her side of the story. I'm walking in the car swap okay. and I yell, I'm like, hey, people are walking. Okay. He honks the horn and then he hits me right in the knee. Describing a physical altercation that ensued. Car. With his car. And then he gets out and throws me up against the wall and then throws me on the ground. Okay. Do you have an idea with you? I do. Convicted of the seriousness of the situation, she requests an ambulance. You request an ambulance? So he what happened? He grabbed me by my neck, threw me against the wall, and then threw me to the ground. Okay, do you want to get checked out in the ambulance? Please. Okay. And continues recounting the incident while receiving medical attention. Dude, are you guys cool if I... Yeah, do? absolutely. Oh, yeah. Yep. I was walking. Pretty, sure no. Pretty much like he was back yeah, about yeah, four or five feet. Okay. And I'm like, dude, someone's walking. You know, I'm like in a thing. The woman elaborates on the moments leading up to the confrontation. And you want the horn trying to scare me, so I stopped, and then that's when he hit me and pushed me back with the car. And then she's like, oh, you hit my hood, you hit, you hit me. She's like, the officer clarifies the details and order of events. And then he gets out he grabs me. Okay. You're walking where by the vehicle? Walking, like, see, right where that woman? Yep. Right, pretty much. Okay, so back. in front of the vehicle. According to her account, the encounter escalated into a heated exchange and physical altercation. You're standing in front, she's in the car, he gets out of the Sounds car, walks like around. I was on the passenger door, because she's like, you my like, okay, it, me, okay. She's like, what are you going to do? However, as more information comes to light, This is, okay. plus, he's stopped like this, letting his wife out. 
she's walking across, he lets her arm cross, but she comes like something happens where he honks the horn at her. She's got it becomes evident that the situation is not as straightforward as it seems. Because she's attacked him. Okay. So then she he's honked her horn and so she starts banging on the on the hood of his car. Right. Like screaming right. you. He gets out of the car and like Witnesses contribute critical pieces to the puzzle, depicting the woman as the aggressor. The laceration to his nose. Okay. He then pushes her away, okay. probably from this, okay. and then she comes back and starts knee kicking him in the balls and fighting him. So, and he's only pushing her away. The woman, however, continues to play victim. He's walking. I said, man, this is people. People okay. are walking. Okay. I didn't say it. I'm like in a daze. You know, my mom just died. Okay. The officers then share the witness accounts with her. Same thing. Okay. Well, I just, they just, I walk up to her and she's got it. I understand. He's six foot five. Okay. So we have multiple witnesses, okay. Which she doesn't take well. You were the aggressor in this scenario. So, so at this point, you're going to be placed under arrest. I can't. Okay? I can't. You, you are going to be placed under arrest. No. Okay. So don't. don't. The situation reaches a turning point when the officers announce their decision. Me? You do not want a separate charge, okay? I no. Stop no. pointing. Stop pointing. Turn around. Turn around now and put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest. Leading to her reaction of disbelief and resistance. I want an extra charge. Stop fighting the officer. Turn around. Turn around. You're under arrest. Listen to the police. What about this? Stop. Under arrest. Listen to the police. She pleads her case. officers for battery. Battery? What about battery? Aggravated battery. You better take pictures of me. We will. I will. Just yeah. cooperate with I the officers. I understand. Mentioning personal troubles and expressing a deep sense of injustice over the unfolding events. I need to bury my mom. I can't even mourn. I'm walking and somebody almost hits me. How is that? The aggressor. Did you see the video? The situation intensifies as the woman is taken to the police unit. Bless me, please, dear God. They're going to send me to jail. So, so listen. Please. Lori. We've already, we're past the arrest part, okay? Still expressing her distress and disbelief, the officer tries to calm her down. I assure you that I'm gonna look into everything, okay? But you have to stay calm. Listen, stop, we're gonna, we're going to stop. But her attempts are futile. Maria, Laura, how much sound is yelling at I'm asking Lori, if you want, listen to me. If you. Eventually, they have no choice but to be even more firm with her. Taking the handcuffs off until you follow directions. And I'm in excruciating pain. Okay, and I, and I would recommend you follow. The woman expresses her frustration as the gravity of her situation sinks in. Shoes off. Okay. Electron. Am I like being like locked yeah. up? So you are under arrest. But okay. am I going home? I don't know right now. Oh my okay, God, we're gonna talk about I just it. Get home. Shortly after, she's escorted into a holding cell. There you go. Okay. They're nice and fluffy and as comfy as they can be. Oh, you got the new one. I um. Good give next. me two seconds, okay? Upon searching her belongings, officers find something interesting. Wouldn't get that even if she needed it. <laughs> Who knows what that is? Never. There's a hodgepodge. There is, there. Yeah, there is. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, there's like a number. The discovery of controlled substances prompts a thorough investigation. I have to have to take time with that. <laughs> Who's, is anybody accusing you of but selling drugs? I'm going to call the state's attorney and then they're going to bring drug charges on me. Well, and luckily... The officers bring up the issue with her. I just, can I call us? Awesome? That's a very easy thing then to get thrown away. I wouldn't worry about that at all. Get it thrown away? You're charging me with drugs? And dig deeper into the unprescribed medication found in her bag. I went down a little bit. I want to just talk to you about what we're doing with those drugs, okay? As long as you... I don't have my glasses. I'll get your glasses. Okay, sit down right there. Meanwhile, the officers identify the various pills. For a moment, okay? She's got two separate types. If you want to do that many charges, maybe just call the SA. Well, they may lump it in one charge. Instead and of just... 10, but it'll be up to the drug. And take meticulous care to document everything on camera. Well, I take a picture of that and then okay. you'll be able to explain it to him. Right now you have one accounted for. Okay, but I thought there was more. I'm sorry, my mom. There, I there's, don't even know. I, I, okay. The woman scrambles for an explanation. Well, what if you speak to the pharmacy? And ask them what? 
the same thing I'm going to ask them. Can you go over? Well, here, this is what I need to see. I need to see. I, having only presented one prescription. I deleted them. What do you not understand? I can call the pharmacy and put it on speaker. Okay. Okay. Here. Jesus Christ. Okay. Here's what you have to understand now. However, her excuses don't fly with the officers. The number's right there. When I'm calling the pharmacy. You have a whole mass of drugs oh right there. Oh my God. Why right, so are you sit down on there. me with my prescription? Can I call the pharmacy? The woman continues to behave erratically. Please. I don't abuse you can, anything. You can make phone oh calls God. from that phone over there. Please let me call the pharmacy. We're not going to call the pharmacy. You can call and doesn't hold back on her waterworks. I told them as I am. I usually delete them. I've got 9,000 messages. I just want to go home. Those are mine. Okay. The officers have a discussion about the woman's case. She had prescriptions for all these except for this one. Mm -hmm. I would err in the side of caution and allow her to call a pharmacy. Yeah. But if it's reversed, it's reversed, she only has a prescription for and talk about her potential charges. Oh. These not no <laughs> yeah. charge. Yeah. And and I mean the yeah because oh hydrochloride See, again th these ones from just my experience she's looks like our victim turned suspect is in even deeper trouble. But these are the ones that yeah, you we're cannot, worried about yeah. that there's abuse, which yeah. I think be you just based on. You can't be prescribed both at the same time. Well, the officers, aware of the delicate balance between enforcing the law and handling a distressed individual, navigate the situation with a mix of firmness and empathy. Charged right now with it, okay? So you have to chill out. I told you, as long as I know it, I know it sucks, but you gotta work with me because. As the woman is processed, the reality of her actions and their consequences becomes inescapable. She's ultimately charged with aggravated battery, resisting arrest, and possession of controlled substances. Number two, disorderly woman makes a spectacle of herself in airport. At an airport, a woman finds herself at the center of a confrontation with law enforcement officers. The issue at hand appears to be her behavior, which has raised enough concern for the officers to engage. Be the problem tonight. <laughs> You're intoxicated and shooting me on the plane, running your mouth again, running your mouth to check out, or when you're getting in here. Did you it's all on again? video. The woman, seemingly puzzled by the accusation, seeks clarity. Yeah, when you first came in, you were giving them a problem. It's all on video. Can you tell me what I was giving them a problem about? Yeah, you're being discourteous. Oh. As she demands answers. See, please tell me in detail. How they all told me already. But I, I need and to know. And now you're on the plane. Being this courteous again. That's fine. I need to so, know. The conversation starts to get heated. Manner. How am I being discourteous? How am I being to this? Well, you're I need to know. right now, which is probably why you're being the way you are. That's fine. I need to know. So where's why your license at? This back and forth sets the stage for a deeper conflict. No, why? Where's your exactly, license at? Exactly. Exactly. No, under the law, I need to know exactly where why. Where is your exactly license this. at? I will give that to you. Yep. You would definitely need to. The woman then hands over her ID. Servants on a plane. I'm sorry. Get your Florida license. Oh, sorry. It's this one. I'm sorry. They, I keep it in the same thing. Mm -hmm. The officers propose shifting to a quieter spot. Can you bring it back over to my office? What's that? Can we bring it over to my office? Yeah, absolutely. Or, yeah, okay. Yeah. Want to grab your bag? I'm sorry. I'm not carrying your stuff for you, so. Likely to calm things down and talk in more detail. Oh, I know. said, okay, I'm carrying my stuff. Okay. So I hope you know. And just like that, she shows her true colors. Not doing your job on that. I am doing my job right now. Yeah, I'm already under so, the police right. academy law. I already know what I'm talking under about. The officer has no choice but to make a decision. No, I'm not. Yes, no, I'm not. not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yep. You don't want to listen. You're intoxicated and you're causing a scene at the The woman, however, stands firm. Hey, that's your, fine. Your My video literally shows up. Put your hand Sorry. down. Let me, let me put this down. Let me put this down. Okay. Can I put this in my wallet? You put it down right there. Daring the officers to prove their allegations. With your restrooms. No, put I need it. to put this down so I know that it's in my restrooms. Ow! With Stop my, resisting and put my it down. Hand Stop is resisting. Fully she denies causing any disturbance and is adamant about her innocence. 
questioning the officer's actions and authority at every turn. I did the police turn. I know exactly what the law is. You're literally calling everything against it, which well, is fine. I'm not. Yes, you are. The woman insists on understanding the law and complains about the officer's treatment. Putting my hands up against the police, calling everything. I told you I put my hand, and then I put my hands up, and you didn't give me a single chance to put my evidence up for me to put. The officer attempts to reason with her. Personal providence still, against the ground. That is illegal providence. You're still causing a problem. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. I you're literally just told you on the police airport right. right there. But she remains defiant. Can you guys grab her stuff right so I can walk her up here, please? I'm not. You're literally going to be... You're causing a disturbance here. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not, sir. Literally... She keeps babbling nonsense. Everything that you just did, you will be hearing with your own court officer. I promise you. You make no sense whatsoever right now. How do I not make... Even making up words to drive her point. I know what I'm right for one. If I don't... <laughs> No, I'm not going to talk any further on. That sentence didn't even make sense that you just said. You're right. Wait, did I hear that right? Did she just admit she's not making any sense? The officer points to her lack of cooperation, her disruptive behavior. First came in earlier. Cousins are servants here. I have every violence towards you taking me in. And her apparent intoxication as the main reasons for their intervention. Yes. And then, then what? Started the confrontation. What, what? He also mentions the information gathered from the flight attendants. What confrontation? You can't, you can't tell the flight attendants that you've been consuming alcohol and then be compassionate to the flight attendants. What, what did I do? What did I do? They told me that you were yelling on the aircraft. What? As the situation unfolds, the woman's steadfast denial of any wrongdoing and her demands for evidence continue. Yeah. I, exactly. I did not. No, 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 no. I did not yell until you show me literal footage. I did not yell. She seems unable to accept the officer's perspective. Not do anything. I approached that aircraft like it was nothing. CI one central. Keep me like it was nothing. I was doing everything. The airport. What? Leading to a standoff. Show me. I don't have video. The flight attendants don't need to have video to remove you from the I aircraft. didn't slap them, I didn't kick them, I didn't toss them, them, I didn't do anything. So little <laughs> Despite this, the officers stand their ground, which only seems to provoke the woman more. What I did? I did not See, do that. See, at one center, I'll be at the security checkpoint. We have to take a female off the aircraft. And here she goes, starting with her police force narrative again. Like, there is literally no way that I am doing that. I'm literally trying. The officer's patience, on the other hand, starts wearing thin. You talking to the radio? I have to, I have to do my last name first, so stop. Did I know that? Did I know that? Am I a police officer? Can yet? you stop? No. I'm literally... It's puzzling how she's able to firmly deny any wrongdoing when she acts like this. My Stop! I have it right here. Stop, please. Do I know that? No, you don't. So please ask me nicely. Hey, ma'am, I have this. I mean, just look at her go. For this. Why is yeah, that I'm so bad? Her. She just won't be quiet. She won't be quiet. You wouldn't ask me to be quiet. I shouldn't have to. And then she starts repeating herself like a broken record. In Somebody the environment, who is... peace in Stop. the environment, peace Somebody... in the environment, yeah, peace you're not make in it the, the cop, environment, okay? and you keep talking over. The woman keeps taking control of the conversation. Yeah. You wanted to be approached. Stop. Ask me how my Stop. name is. Ask me how anything is. That's how you do your f job. Going as far as telling the officers how to do their job. Let me know how to do my You're job. welcome. Yeah, Honestly, sit there and be you're quiet, welcome. Please. Because instead of sitting there and just throwing out names and not having information that you have. Despite her outburst, the officer stays calm and collected. So I'm I get on the radio. Now. Are you sure? Yeah. You get it all out? Now, yeah, now that I know that in your ear that they heard every thing how your job actually is. She continues to voice her objections. Clean. 
You can't argue that I argue with you on the plane. I didn't say you argued with me on the plane. That's what you just No, I said that you argued. Still seeking clarification and justification for the actions being taken against her. Sorry for everything. No, I'm literally just asking what my yeah, charges are at this point. Okay, go ahead. Right. Is he good out here with them? Meanwhile, the officers, intent on completing the arrest procedure. No, I'm just All right. So follow me. Hey guys, that's her stuff. That's her stuff. Grab it. Grab it. To try to maneuver through her ongoing protests and questions. I didn't punch anybody, I didn't like, cuss at anybody, I didn't do anything. Like, why am I? Despite having explained to her the reason why she's arrested, she continues to seek clarification. What did I do for me to be like this? No, hey, you're good. You know? I'll, I'll, I'll go through it. No, I want to know exactly okay. where. Where in the court office? Insisting on her innocence. Do a single fucking thing. They can't even get me on me going up to any of the bars. The officers ensure safety before she's placed inside the patrol car. No, they didn't check me on a single thing. They didn't me on a single Addison. thing. I'm, I'm answering you. Is there anything on your channel about it? I'm, Any guns, knives, bombs? Up to this point, the woman still acts like she knows what she's saying. He did not search me on a single thing, nothing before the airport, nothing on even minimum on anything, anything. I'm gonna switch cops. It's unbelievable how she twists the truth. I questioned your manhood. Yeah, you did. You had everything fine with me until I literally questioned your manhood. Even resorting to threatening the officer. It's recording. Just wait. Right. I, I doesn't matter. I hope, I hope. You hit the wrong person. You really did. I wouldn't. I me. warned you. I, it's not warning. The officer responds calmly and professionally. You're in talks, How is it disorderly in talks? Any cause of disturbance? That's fine. That's fine. It's a disturbance right now. But wait until well, I like, come forward. Too. Wait until I come forward. And it's fine. But she doesn't let up with her threats. I have every witness, I have every family protocol, everything coming forward. It's fine. It's a whole lawsuit. Okay. In the end, the woman was charged with disorderly intoxication. Perhaps a night in jail will help sober her up. Number one, entitled drama queen thinks she's above the law. A peaceful evening at a local hotel is disrupted by a report of theft, a seemingly minor incident that quickly spirals into an unforgettable encounter. The police are called in after a front desk clerk reports a female guest for swiping a bottle of wine from the hotel lobby without paying. Yo, folks, how are you? Ma'am, I have a question for you. The alcohol that you're drinking right now? Yes. yes. Where'd you get that from? The hotel where I'm staying. The woman refuses to cooperate with the officer's questions. Okay. Wait, what's your name? I'm not going to tell you. Why is I that? I trust you. Oh, I think, <laughs> I think you can trust me. No. No, no, no. And tensions start to rise. Listen, I am parked in a very secure parking lot, and I've paid for the room up there. Okay. And this wine that... Mm -hmm. The woman tells her own version of the truth. ...downstairs mm -hmm. is not illegal. We are not in prohibition. Bravo, Juan Panagorda. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm so you know this young lady? Have you seen an adult woman act like a child? If not, here you go. Okay. You're scaring me. No, no, no. Oh, and she also tries to sweet talk her way out of the situation. Really? Is this what you guys are going to do? What is it? What are we doing? Meanwhile, the officers stay composed. A sharp contrast to the woman's behavior. I, I just asked you your name. Well, I told you my name. And yet no. you're still giving me a hard time. And I'm not going anywhere. I'm walking over. As the woman keeps refusing to play ball. And you're still okay, giving let's, me let's a walk, hard time. Let's walk over to the property. No, I don't want to walk anywhere with you. Or you. Both of you. Step back. Please. It's obvious she's not keen on going back to the hotel with the officers. So she's a guest of the hotel. I hate you.
but she quickly learns that she can't call the shots. Is that the one? Yeah. Ma'am. Can I go to 401? No, you can't. You're going to go back over here to the desk. Okay. The woman is then led to the front desk to have a conversation with a hotel clerk. Hi. Keep that out of your mouth. Actually, the, oh. the two officers are right to my front desk. Still, she makes the same excuses. ID on you. May I have it? I don't trust you. I don't think you quite realize where this is going. The woman's frustration reaches a boiling point. Exactly who you are. I've seen you three times you take over. But we're not going to talk about that, are we? And she continues to insist on having it her way. I don't want to give it either of you. Ma'am, no, this is an care. investigation for theft. I don't... Theft? Yeah. As the conversation shifts to the theft, the woman's defiance takes a surprising turn. And take me in. I sleep very well in a prison cell. That's yeah. It doesn't bother me. The hotel clerk informs the officers of their policies. The hotel policy that we can't sell, we don't sell alcohol after midnight. Mm -hmm. Lady dear came down at 1.45 in the morning and how the woman violated them. You know, I want to buy some booze. It's like, and still you know, it's past midnight. Oh, he's talking She's about like, me. no, it's 11.44. I want to buy booze. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I can do that. Okay. His account adds depth to the narrative. It's horrible. Okay. okay. And then she went back up. I went back, I'm doing my overnight reporting in the back. And okay. I see on the center. Revealing events that led to this confrontation. All right, take the elevator. So I keep watching the screen, she had come down here. I hear the bottles clink, so I know she's taking some alcohol. Brace yourself for an emotional outburst in three, two, one. I just want to get, I don't care if you have to charge my room $500 or a thousand. Shut up, hubby, shut the up. The officers weigh their options, contemplating whether to press charges as they consult with the clerk. I want her to move from the property. Okay. So you want to put her out? Yes. You want her to trespass from the property? Well, there's somebody else in the room, too. But... Just when it seems like the woman has regained her composure, she unexpectedly erupts once again. That's great, because I'm drunk, and I have to be removed. Because of your mouth. Ma'am, you're going to get arrested for this Her interaction with the officers becomes a tumultuous roller coaster of emotions. He is racist against me! Ma'am. He is racist against me! Ma'am, you're, you're talking okay. yourself right in the handcuffs. Okay, okay. okay Stop. Okay. okay, I'm not. I'm just... Her fiery anger and defiance standing in sharp contrast to the composed authority of law enforcement. Time to relax. Take a deep breath. Okay. Are you looking to pursue charges? No, but I want her to move from the road. Okay, do you hear that? He doesn't want to pursue again. Despite the clerk's decision, the woman continues to protest. Keep this up. Where am I supposed to go? You should have thought about have that this... before you put yourself in the situation. 100%. Oh, great, great. Even resorting to dramatic gestures and entitled behavior as she walks away. For taking a ride. Right Ma now. Stop. Produce your ID. You guys have to stop. Produce your ID. Ma'am. Ma'am. You're not free to walk away. I don't know what you're yeah. thinking. However, Reality soon sets in as she realizes she can't bend the situation to her will. You're done. Now you're going to jail. This was really intoxication. Understand that? Do you understand? Do you, do you have her name on anything? Nicole. The woman continues to protest as the officer takes note of her information. Her screams echoing through the entire hotel lobby. Ma'am! Ma'am! Stop! I'm trying to grab you like that one more time. You can stop it! And my phone number is not your business! As the officers escort her away, the gravity of her actions starts to sink in. Hang on, Amber. You understand? Stop! Alright, I'll, I'll be back in and talk to you. Ma'am, you have to relax. Despite her resistance, 
She can't avoid facing the consequences. Better calm down. I know you. I know you, and I know you. Jesus Christ, what do you want from me? You want to f***ing kill me? What the f*** you On the ride to jail, she maintains her innocence. Right? I wasn't doing anything. I was actually just being a normal person. So why are you arresting me? The woman got booked for disorderly intoxication. Court records show she got six months of probation, had to do community service hours, and got slapped with a $288 fine. And there you have it, folks. Some of the wildest, most unbelievable cases of psycho Karens in action. Which one do you think tops the charts for sheer entertainment? Is it our top pick? Or do you have another contender in mind? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Also, check out our other stuff showing up on the screen right now. And I'll see you in the next video. See you next time.